How's it going, everybody? It is I, once again, Mr. Cinema Junkie, and I am out in the vehicle again, as per usual these days. Uh, I tell you, sometimes it doesn't pay to even make a move to do anything. Uh, life is peaceful until I decide to shoot one of these videos. Then it's like just this domino effect of crap. Everything starts going wrong. Can't find a light. Uh, everyone wants to know where I'm going because I'm hitting the door. Never mind that I'm not dressed to go anywhere. Everybody thinks I'm taking off somewhere. It's monstrous how, how many questions I get, but eh, whatever. It's about one o'clock in the morning. Um, forgive my atrocious appearance, but I'm shooting this video to do a little unpackaging. Yes, the time has finally arrived about, hmm, a year, almost two, maybe. Um, almost two, not quite, a, I don't think. But uh, a while back, we got the announcement that Mr. Stephen Byro was going to be doing another installment of the American guinea pig series and this one was going to be called the song of Solomon um, an exorcism tale of sorts which boasted real rituals of exorcism um, that was intriguing in and of itself been watching quite a few things dealing with exorcists and exorcisms and uh kind of like i guess wetting my uh my palate a little bit preparing for this arrival um it's been it's been kind of a long wait not that it took too long but you know you read about you know the screenings and the viewings and and all all that kind of deal and it's like i want to see it too and like, yes, I forgot, I totally forgot yesterday, the seventh, uh, Sunday night, there was a viewing of Song of Solomon here in San Antonio and I completely forgot about it, but I had gotten my copy on Saturday. So I think it was Saturday, Friday or Saturday. I got it. It's, it's a uh, Tuesday morning right now, officially, but, um, anyways, enough of that. I have two packages here because there was also the release of American Guinea Pig uh, Sacrifice. That one was shown as a big surprise to everybody at Texas Frightmare Weekend. I believe it was the previous TFW in 2017. Everybody thought it was going to be a screening of Song of Solomon and they showed Sacrifice instead. Um, and then this past year, this, this past TFW, 2018 they showed song of solomon i have not seen either one of these the closest i've come to seeing them are the little trailers that have been on youtube so i'm really looking forward to it i don't know what package has what um i got this one and we got this one and i just edited out my addresses that i flashed to the whole world but here's the two packages i got um, not sure which is which, so let's just go with the big one first, right? Remember this little jammy? Yeah, classic. Still with me. How long has it been now? Eight years? And like I said, I also received a poster, but I'm not going to open that right now because I don't want to unroll it. But you'll probably see it in a future video hanging on my wall. What do we have here? Yeah, this almost feels like a lot of stuff. Oh. oh, wait a minute. It smells strong. <laughs> Whatever it is, it smells. It smells strong, dude. Not bad strong, just like inky strong. Okay. I opted for the gore cover. 
There it is. And that sounded bad right off the get. What is that? Is it a card? Oh, it sounds like a card. Okay. There it is. Um, the fourth installment, right? Okay, we've got some gore. Bloodshot. Song of Solomon. I think this is the fourth one. Um, looks like signatures. Yeah, there it is, the gore cover. And let's open it up. Oh, yes. Okay, it wasn't the DVD sliding around. It's a, uh, a sticker, I believe. Nice. I like the little bonuses. And there's the uh, wonderful DVD art. I heard so many mixed reviews. Well, I shouldn't even say mixed reviews because I only heard reviews from like three people and they weren't even like official reviews. They were just talk, chatting with me online uh, when they saw this. They was like, oh, we thought we were going to see Song of Solomon and they threw this other one at us. Man, it was crazy insane. And I was like, really? Hmm. A twofer. Song of Solomon has been getting like all the press, all the play. Everybody's been talking about that. Not a lot of people have been talking about sacrifice, but you know, if you're down with the whole American guinea pig series, you're going to want to get this regardless. And uh, these are just like like simple, no frills DVD copies. Of course, they're going to have like the three disc editions, which I got to have at least that for Song of Solomon because I have the other two in three disc edition. So there's Sacrifice. And let's see what other little bonuses we got in this here. This feels like a lot of stuff. What's this? Oh. <laughs> All right. First off, there is a poster in here. Of what? I don't know. It's a Song of Solomon poster. What's in the tube? The tube is supposed to have Song of Solomon in it. Hmm. Okay, that's cool. Maybe it's another poster. I don't know. But the reason I was like, oh, is because um, this had Song of Solomon in it, too. There it is. I could have showed that first. Showed them in order. And this is autographed all over the place by actresses, actress, actresses, actress Jessica Cameron. And you got Stephen Byro and all the other gang of Stephen Publicki, I believe. Oh, wow, look. What is this? It's two discs. I have in this box an American guinea pig patch. That rocks. All right, that is righteous as hell. That is awesome. I have another sacrifice sticker. Always nice to have like stickers and buttons and stuff like that. Like when I go to the, the cons and stuff, I like picking up the little freebies off the table. Why? Because sometimes I send out a package or two and I like to throw a little extra in there. So it's nice to have things like this, you know, maybe someone would dig that and I don't know who wouldn't be into that. I have a Song of Solomon sticker. It's the only one I got, so it's mine. I'm not going to give that away. And... An actual, an actual picture. This is an actual print of the crew doing the effects. There's Marcus Cook, Stephen Byro doing the uh, gore and stuff. And my apologies, I don't recognize the third guy there. But this is actual, like, photo print. Pretty awesome. And the inside here, I believe, I guess that's probably like a bonus disc, maybe. I would think so, because it's got the, uh, the, uh, board on it, the clapper board. And then, of course, the movie. Sweet. But now, I'm wondering what's in this other package. 
I thought they sent them separate. I thought it was be, you know. Song of Solomon in one, sacrifice in the other. Not the case. And the extra the extra poster is nice. I'm gonna have to open up that tube today and just make sure because I know I, I got a rolled poster, and that's a rolled poster. Did I just get a bonus poster? Let me know if you guys need it back. Maybe I got it by mistake. And here's the other package right here. Ooh, now I'm, I'm like doubly excited because it's like a little surprise. Maybe. The DNA tests are in. Steven is not my dad. Folded in such a way that I thought it was like a short envelope. I was opening it all weird. What in the world is in here? Am I flashing my address all over the place again? Shoot. Huh? Well, I got more Song of Solomon stickers. I'm going to look at the discs right now and make sure there's no more in here. And I have, what is this? <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Oh, man. Wow. Um, thanks, Steven. Guys, uh, what's in the other package? What was in the other package? Let me fix this up a little bit. I just messed it up. Was honestly, for so many different reasons, very unexpected and a big surprise. It is a copy of Red Room. Why is it a big surprise? Well, let me tell you a little story. Um, during one of the first, uh, big sales that unearthed film had um i ordered red room and red room two uh amongst other amongst other uh titles hold on just a second everybody i want to make sure i'm recording here yeah i'm recording uh i, re I ordered this with a bunch of other titles i got all the titles except this one and uh and i mentioned it and steven said yeah, we ran out of those. Uh, didn't you get a letter in the in the package telling you that? I'm like, no. And he said, uh, he said, oh, okay. Well, they're supposed to tell you when we get some in, we'll send a copy to you. Great, no problem. Um, a few months passed, and this was during a big change for Unearthed Films and for Stephen and everyone because they he moved from Florida to California. Not a small feat. It's a, it's a pretty big move. So I'm sure a lot of things were up in the air, a lot of things getting straightened out, a lot of things had to take care of. And of course, you know, a few months passed by and I'm and I I was like, Did you guys get any copies of Red Room in? And he said, I'm not sure. Um, I'll talk to my guy in Florida. He's the one handling this. And I think everything was still operating out of Florida at the time. And uh and then I happened to be on the on the unearthed uh website and they had red room for sale. So I'm like, oh, okay, got copies in. Hey, so you got copies in. Can you send me one? Yeah, sure. I'll let them know. Long, long story made a little bit shorter. Um, this was, God, two, two years, maybe going on three. And due to, like, I guess just wires getting crossed the wrong way and so on and so forth. And I just mentioned not too long ago 
Like, I was just wondering, can I get that copy of Red Room? And Steven was like, you never got it? He's like, dude, yeah, sure. Give me your address. And um, that was another thing I had moved to. I had moved from downtown San Antonio, and I used another forwarding address. Then I moved where I'm at now, and I had to change that address again. So, you know, I thought maybe with all the address changes and stuff, maybe it got lost in the mail. But no, it just just because of lack of communication, it just didn't get sent out. No, no major at all. I was not freaking out. I think it paid like five bucks. What's five bucks? 25 bucks is not enough for me to, to, to get, you know, bent out of shape unless you start trying to jack me off. Like, like toe tag did. That's when I start having a problem. You start palming me off and acting like, eh, it's okay. You know, don't, don't do that. Um, never did that to me. They're like, yeah, we'll get it out to you. And then just recently I had mentioned something about it. I forgot how I said it, but he asked, he told me, you didn't get it. I sent that out already. And I'm like, oh, I didn't know. I had no idea you sent it out. And at this point, it's kind of like, okay, well, then it's on the post office then. Sent it out. They lost it. We live in an imperfect world. I'll either make plans to buy another copy or just, yeah, it's okay. It's not like I haven't seen it before. I'm just one of those completists. You know, I, I'm looking at a stack of unearthed films and I see Red Room 2, no Red Room 1 next to it. And I'm like, so here it is and i thank you Stephen. thank you so much man this is really gonna do wonders for my uh ocd <laughs> but i see another uh, uh dvd in here what's this oh okay it's signed and everything i've seen this movie and i actually liked it it was uh I got the Blu-ray during one of the sales. It's the Scarlet Worm, but it's got this uh, this alternate artwork. I think it was only done for the sale, if I'm not mistaken. It's a limited edition artwork. Great movie. If you like westerns and you like horror or, or uh, not so much exploitation, but a little like extreme kind of stuff, um, maybe a tad more extreme than, say, bone tomahawk but in the same vein you got the western setting and then like a little horror thrown in there too this is this is a great movie and uh yeah oh here sign limited edition of 50 wow man wow thank you so much oh loose disc that back in there good as new wow man what a surprise thank you so much steven uh this this is great probably one of the best unpackagings i've done in a while well let's not forget why we're really here take one more gander at those bad boys tonight it's all about american guinea pig I, I set the patch down and now I wish I hadn't because now I can't find it. My patch is gone. Oh well, anyways. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen. Song of Solomon and Sacrifice. Entries three and four into the American Guinea Pig series. And just for funsies, Comment below and tell me what you think the next American guinea pig should be about. I've had thoughts, okay? The very first one had to deal with snuff films. Um, it's kind of a subject that I'm interested in to some extent. Um, so I, I, I knew that wasn't going to be done. Then I started thinking, what if it was like like Red Rooms, you know, the the, the famed red rooms of the uh, of the deep web you know people get to pick and choose how somebody's tortured that could be one and I just said red rooms and I got red rooms didn't even think about that but they're called red rooms in the, in the deep web um, 
he uh, unearthed films is handling the uh the distribution of um a serbian film i don't know how deep or how dark american guinea pig is willing to get but i mean yeah, maybe maybe kids is off limits. Maybe we just leave that alone. That's probably getting a little too deep, a little too dark. Uh, it's a reality, sadly, that goes on in our world every day. Um, but if if you had like a, a a red room type movie, but involving a child, remember the um, if you saw um, Bouquet of Guts and Gore, it ends with a child on the table like they're gonna do they're gonna mess him up and and it's you know for the for the video but i don't know i don't know if any any youngster or whatever like be able to sit through stuff like that a scene maybe but not an entire movie and i don't think anybody would actually like be too hot to see something like that um But I don't know, there's there's real life horrors like abductions and things like that, man. I mean, the, the internet's littered with them. Um, you can see them all the time from news clips to uploaded clips. It's terrible. But uh, the subject matter of American guinea pig kind of has one toe in reality and one toe in like extreme fantasy. So it's, it's a melding of two worlds. Um but it's disturbing to think that something like that actually goes on out there somewhere. And I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. Even blood shock as extreme as it over the top as blood shock was. I have a feeling that somewhere in this world, as we speak, there's somebody doing some horrible thing to some poor person for whatever illogical reason they can come up with. I'm sure it's going on somewhere, whether it's for somebody's entertainment, uh, somebody's, you know, junk science, uh, who knows, but, uh, that's the world we live in. You got six, 7 billion people on this planet. You can't tell me that at least three or four of those people aren't doing something really twisted and sick at this moment. While you watch this video, there's something weird going on. And what's even scarier is that it might be going on closer than you think. It might be at the house down at the end of the block. It might be someone you work with who does this after work. It might be somebody that you knew in school. It might be somebody who you just met in the most inconspicuous place ever, in the most unbelievable place ever. Maybe it's, it's somebody who runs your child's Sunday school. Who knows? And to me, that's what American guinea pig does. American guinea pig, it deals with those raw and very real scenarios, the human mind, the human psyche, and what it takes people, what paths it takes people down. The Japanese guinea pig was, series was good. Um, and it started with some, some pretty atrocious stuff. Then it started like branching off into like, weird imagery and then it went from there it went on to like dark comedy kind of stuff i hope american guinea pig doesn't do that and i'm pretty sure they're not going to do that they're going to stick with the raw and the the blatant screenshot yeah so <laughs> thumbnail all right so Thanks again, Stephen. Thank you, Unearth Film. Thank you, Marcus Cook. Thank you, Publicki. Thank you, Jessica Cameron. And thank you, everybody who worked on this amazing release. I cannot wait to watch it. I cannot wait to do a review on it. I've read some of the reviews that have come in already of people who've had the, the fortunate act of being able to see this at a screening or however they saw it. As long as you didn't watch it, download it, you slime. We don't do that. Shame on you if you do. So I'm going to wrap it up with that. Thanks again, everybody. 
Thanks for watching. This was fun. This was fun. I had a few laughs. Speaking of a few laughs, be uh, be on the lookout for my next video. Um, it's going to touch on some, uh, uh, I don't know what you'd call it. Uh, it's like satire. It's going to be a, a satirical video. Um, I, I, it's going to be called Defending the Suck. That is all I'm going to say about that. But I'm making it in the vein of uh, two personal friends of mine that I know elsewhere, but mainly here on YouTube, who shared their opinion, their much valued and very respected opinions of a couple of movies that I actually like very much and they can't stand defending the suck look out for it uh should be in the next few days or so but until then take care thanks for watching and i'll be seeing you all real real soon i need to do some more reviews i have some other movies that i've watched recently that were really really good so and look out for those as well. Take care, everybody. And I'll be talking to you all real soon.